elements that make up the beauty and classics of Chinese folklore through classic works. Chinese folklore is a rich and diverse tradition that has been passed down from generation to generation for thousands of years. The beauty and classics of Chinese folklore can be seen in a variety of classic works, including literature, art, and music. In this article, we will explore the elements that make up the beauty and classics of Chinese folklore through classic works. Classic works, including literature, art, and music. In this article, we will explore the elements that make up the beauty and classics of Chinese folklore through classic works. One of the most important elements of Chinese folklore is its emphasis on harmony and balance. Chinese folklore emphasizes the importance of balance and harmony in all aspects of life, from nature and the environment to social relationships and personal well-being. This emphasis on balance and harmony can be seen in classic works such as the Tao Te Ching, a text that explores the nature of Bala. The environment to social relationships and personal well-being. This emphasis on balance and harmony can be seen in classic works such as the Tao Te Ching, a text that explores the nature of Bala. Say in harmony in the universe and in human life. Another important element of Chinese folklore is its emphasis on the natural world. Chinese folklore is deeply connected to the natural world, and it emphasizes the importance of living in harmony. Why? H. Nature. This emphasis on the natural world can be seen in classic works such as The Peach Blossom Spring, a story that tells of a hidden paradise where people live in harmony with nature. H. Nature. This emphasis on the natural world can be seen in classic works such as The Peach Blossom Spring, a story that tells of a hidden paradise where people live in harmony with nature. The use of symbolism is another important element of Chinese folklore. Chinese folklore is rich in symbolism, and it often uses symbols to convey complex ideas and emotions. Symbols such as dragons, Phoenixes and lotus flowers are commonly used in Chinese folklore, and they represent a variety of concepts such as power, rebirth, and purity. Phoenixes and lotus flowers are commonly used in Chinese folklore, and they represent a variety of concepts such as power, rebirth, and purity. The use of symbolism can be seen in classic works such as The Journey to the West, a novel that tells the story of a monk's journey to India to obtain Buddhist scriptures. In the novel, The Monkey Ing Sun Wukong represents the human desire for power and enlightenment, while the white dragon horse represents the balance and harmony that can be achieved through spiritual practice. Ing Sun Wukong represents the human desire for power and enlightenment, while the white dragon horse represents the balance and harmony that can be achieved through spiritual practice. Chinese folklore is also characterized by its emphasis on moral values and social responsibility. Chinese folklore often teaches moral lessons and emphasizes the importance of social responsibility a. d. Ethical Behavior this emphasis on moral values can be seen in classic works such as the three-character classic, a text that teaches children the importance of virtue, filial piety, and respect. D. Ethical Behavior This emphasis on moral values can be seen in classic works such as the three-character classic, a text that teaches children the importance of virtue, filial piety, and respect. Or Others the importance of moral values and social responsibility can also be seen in classic works such as The Dream of the Red Chamber, a novel that explores the lives of the aristocracy during the Qing Di. Nasty. The novel emphasizes the importance of family, duty, and responsibility, and it portrays the consequences of neglecting these values. Nasty. The novel emphasizes the importance of family, duty, and responsibility, and it portrays the consequences of neglecting these values. 
The use of metaphors and allegories is another important element of Chinese folklore. Chinese folklore often uses metaphors and allegories to convey complex ideas and emotions. Metaphors such as the Butterfly dream are commonly used in Chinese folklore, and they represent the idea that the world is an illusion and that true enlightenment can only be achieved through spiritual practice. Butterfly dream are commonly used in Chinese folklore, and they represent the idea that the world is an illusion and that true enlightenment can only be achieved through spiritual practice. The use of metaphors and allegories can be seen in classic works such as The Water Margin, a novel that tells the story of a group of outlaws who rebel against the corrupt government during the sun. Dynasty The novel uses allegories to explore the themes of justice, loyalty, and social responsibility, and it portrays the outlaws as heroes who fight for the greater good. Dynasty The novel uses allegories to explore the themes of justice, loyalty, and social responsibility.